What's going on, people? So I had my first rental on Hire Card. Uh, it was a two-day rental, so the gentleman came to pick the car up on on Saturday, and he returned it on Monday. And today is actually Tuesday, January 23rd. So after he returned the car back to me, I um, confirmed the drop-off within the Hire Car app, and like 30 minutes after, I received another request request for a rental, but my phone was in my bedroom on the charger. So by the time I got to my phone, it had been like 45 minutes had passed, and I went to go accept the application, but I guess that driver had already found another vehicle to drive, so that rental application was not available anymore. And then... Um, I actually uh, got another application this morning because I wake up pretty early. So I woke up at like 4.45 this morning and saw that I had a request come in at like 4.30. But I, I'm, I'm going to be, because I'm trying to be cautious, so I'm screening people like doing my own research. And based on my own research, I didn't think that that in the, now I, I could be wrong, but um, from the the profile, I wasn't too comfortable renting renting my car out to that individual, so I actually reje rejected that application. And they had sent me a message um, along with their you know when they submitted their rental application, but it was uh, it was kind of rude. So I'm like, no, I'm not even about to put myself in this position. So then during the day today, while I was at work, I received a um, two more applications. So I received one while I was in a meeting at work. So when I went to go accept that uh, that renter's application, it was it was gone by that time. And then another guy requested to rent it out for seven days. And I was on time for this one. So as I'm ex when I keep hitting accept and it's not going through, and then I see it says uh, the card has insufficient funds. So the gentleman did not have enough money on his card that he had associated with his account. So I couldn't rent out to him for the, uh, the seven days like I wanted to. But luckily, the same driver who returned my card yesterday he said he requested requested to rent it out again and he texted me saying hey i would like to rent out the car again tomorrow and i'd like to do another two-day rental but i may extend it this time so with that being said i'll be renting my car out again so i've had it back for one day and it'll be right back to that same renter again tomorrow and he seems like a good guy uh he took great care great care of the car we actually text back and forth a couple of times because he um, normally he regularly drives for Lyft. So with my I got an inspection for Uber and Lyft. But if you're in the Chicago area, the the uh, Lyft paperwork for the inspection, the one that you see just out there on uh, Google, that's not the one you're supposed to use. You're supposed to use the one that's specific to Chicago. So if you just type in Chicago Lyft form on Google, then that's the one that will work. Because I had just the I had actually one that somebody from Hire Car who works for Hire Car sent me, but it was not the right one because you need one specific to Chicago. So he ha had to drive Uber instead of Lyft, but now I was able to go back to the dealership today and get that sorted out with making sure the right inspection form was filled out. So he'll be able to drive on Lyft when he comes to get the car tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, hopefully he extends, but I just wanted to give you all an update. So for the first, um, for that first rental, I made $59.80. And then for this one, it'll be the same thing. Let me just make sure I'm giving you all the right dollar amount. Uh... Oh, sorry, not $59.80. It's uh, $59.50. So, and what was it the first time? It should be the exact same. 
Yeah, so 5950 again. So it that adds up and if he extends it, I mean my card goes for $35 a day. So hopefully he extends it through the weekend and I'll just keep you all posted with my earnings and then I'm just trying to have enough rentals to where my you know my monthly note is covered on top of insurance and then to be able to have some additional income as well. So I'll keep you all posted on that, but I'm excited. And uh, I did have people leave feedback on my videos telling me to stay away from higher car and only do Turo and join the Turo Facebook group. And uh, I do appreciate the people watching the video and leaving me that input and giving me that insight. So I have tried to join the Turo Facebook group, but it's I'm still waiting for my uh, request to be accepted. So I kind of want to see what the people have to say about higher car, about why it's bad and whatnot. And just a disclaimer, this vehicle that I purchased, the Honda Civic that I purchased, it was strictly for Turo and higher car use. It's not for any personal use at all. So I know a lot of people um, don't you know, worry about wear and tear on their cars and stuff like that or people not taking the best care of your car, which I want to avoid, but keep in mind that I purchased this car simply for uh, Turo and higher car, not for personal use at all. I have my own personal vehicle as well that I won't be putting on any platforms. So that's an update there. Uh, I'll let you all know how the second rental goes and whether he uh, extends it or not. But hopefully he does, and then if things go well, I'll be looking to uh, owner finance my fiance's car from her so I can take over those payments, and then I'll put her car on higher car and Turo as well. Uh, just an update on Turo. I haven't gotten any hits on that platform yet, so it's only been higher car, and I think it's uh, just because the demand for Uber and Lyft is so high here in Chicago. But thanks for watching the video. Please like this video. Leave comments if you have any questions or anything. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And stay tuned and follow me on this journey. All right, catch you on the next video.